But Steph, what what if I really, 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 really want it? Oh, Michael. No. <laughs> what's what's going on? We're designing our dream house. We're, we're trying to decide what we would put in our house to to end all houses. And and Steph won't let me have a pool room. <laughs> I want a pool room. I want a cosmetics room. Well, in that case, why don't you, uh, why don't you just have both rooms? Dick, whose house is this? <laughs> I refuse to have a pool room in my house unless there's a pool in it. But Steph... Michael, how can this be a dream house if it has stuff in it I don't like? That would make it a bad dream house. <laughs> Dick, guess what was posted down at Peterson's? Uh, sale prices on flu and cold remedies. Oh, those are always posted, Dick, so we can't accept that answer. <laughs> there was a notice that this town is going to form a glee club. Hot dog. <laughs> there hasn't been this much excitement since, well, since the last time we had a glee club. There was one before? You bet. We were in two county fairs before we disbanded in a rift over whether to sway during Swing Low Sweet Chariot. <laughs> but nothing like that will happen this time because the new leader is Hazel Fernihow. She was a den mother for years. She'll run a tight ship. But does she know anything about music, George? Oh, yeah. She was choir director at the biggest Lutheran church in Tyville. And you know how those Lutherans can sing. <laughs> she doesn't have perfect pitch, but she can recognize it. Dick, I think this sounds like a lot of fun I do too, you should try out And you'll try out too? No <laughs> I'd think about it if I were you, Dick There's nothing like gathering with your fellow townsmen To sing songs of inspiration Well, I better go practice my three blind mice for the audition <laughs> Come on, honey, let's join Honey, I don't want to join a glee club But you love to sing and we've been saying we want to do something together outside the inn. John, I, I just... I, I don't feel comfortable with my voice, okay? But you have a fine voice. How do you know? You sing on car trips all the time. Honey, that, that, that's in a sedan. <laughs> all right, if you must know, I've, I've had some unpleasant experiences with these, these clubs. I mean, they're, they're not the bastions of glee that their name would lead you to believe. <laughs> What are you talking about? When, when I was 11, I, I joined our school glee club. And in one session, without any instructions, mind you, our, our teacher separated us into voice categories. Alto, soprano, contralto. And she put me in the category all by myself. <laughs> the monotones. <laughs> Dick, that was very cruel of that teacher. Well, unfortunately, I, I was bragging about it until I looked it up. <laughs> Honey. Joanna, I don't want to relive that. You don't sing monotone. And besides, this is just some townspeople getting together to have fun. Come on. Trust me. Oh, okay, but if I don't get in, or if I'm humiliated in any way, I, I can kill you. <laughs> I think you did fine. America the Beautiful was a nice choice. <laughs> just, just wish I hadn't forgotten the words. <laughs> you covered very nicely with the humming. <laughs> Joanna, you were wonderful. I didn't know you sing light opera. When you were performing, I thought I was on the HMS pinafore. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, George. I enjoyed your three blind mice, too. Oh, sure. Everyone enjoys a classic. <laughs> oh, hi, Dick. You know, uh, next time you might, might want to carry the words up with you. <laughs> Joanna, what a lovely audition. Thank you, Chester. George, solid as always. Oh, thanks. Dick? <laughs> well, congratulate me. I was just measured for my robe. We we were all measured. 
Oh. So I shouldn't take that as a sign that I'm a shoe-in? No. Shoot, no, I wish I hadn't already called the wife and told her to uncork that bottle of sparkling cider. We were saving it in case anything good ever happened to us. <laughs> Mrs. Loudon, just thought I'd say nice tune. Oh, yeah, Loudon. Yeah. It's for Purple Mountain's Majesty. <laughs> Above the fruited plain. I forgot, okay? Suppose you forgot the tune, too? You were fine. Okay, everyone. I have the list of Glee Club members, if anyone's interested. Harley Eston, you're in. Hot dog. I can't wait to tell the wife to break out the juice glasses. <laughs> Officer Shiflet, you're in. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> the gun goes inside the robe. I can live with that. Chester Wanamaker, you're in. Thank you. <laughs> George Utley. You're in. Oh, oh, boy. I promise I'll do my best. Good boy. <laughs> Dick Loudon. Dick? No? <laughs> you're, you're in. What? Thank God. <laughs> Very melodic, oh. Mr. Loudon. Very melodic. Oh. Uh, uh, Mrs. Fernyhow. Oh, Mrs. Fernyhow, you forgot to check the list for me. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't, dear. I didn't have to. You didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> you want want some more punch? Oh, I, huh. I, I guess I didn't know how high I'd let my hopes get. I was just assuming I'd get in. You must be relieved. But what do you mean? Oh, I mean, you never really wanted to be in the club. And since we were just doing this to have something we could do together, now there's no reason for you to be part of it. Jo uh, Joanna, I, I, I don't think it's, you know, it's fair to, to quit this soon. You're going to stay in a glee club that rejected me? Well, um, honey, it, you know, it's for the town. They, they said they, they could use a... A melodic singer. Well, fine. But yeah, uh, you know, look at look at the uh, the bright side. I I I don't have to kill you. Well, if the house is four stories, there has to be an elevator. I, I agree, Steph. I, I just don't think it should be made of glass. <laughs> Why on earth not? Well, I, I just don't think the inside of an elevator is a place where I can always be counted on to look my best. <laughs> From first to penthouse, I'd, I'd like the option to slouch and not be seen. I don't think I know you. <laughs> Steph! Joanna, I, I think you're being unreasonable expecting me to quit the Glee Club because you didn't get in. I, I mean, would you have quit if I didn't get in? If you hadn't gotten in, it would have been because you forgot the words and hummed off key. <laughs> I didn't get in because Mrs. Fernie Howe hates me. You, you said I was fine. I lied. <laughs> Joanna, I, I think you're jumping to conclusions as, as, as to why you didn't get in. I mean, Mrs. Fernie Howe has, has taught Lutherans. <laughs> I, I mean, somebody with, with that kind of experience wouldn't, wouldn't do a thing like that on, on a whim. I... I, th I think you should talk to her. Well, yeah, maybe you're right. I mean, why would Mrs. Fernie Howe hate me? I've never done anything to her. Exactly. Although I did pass her in the grocery store when I had a lot on my mind and forgot to speak. Yeah, she would want revenge for that. <laughs> and her son's birthday was in the paper last week, and I didn't even send a card. She doesn't hate you. I mean, talk to her and find out why she, she, she seems to hate you. <laughs> Okay, okay, I will. 
After your rehearsal Thursday. Good. And what if I don't get any satisfaction? Honey, I firmly believe if Hazel Ferniehow, a, a former den mother, yeah. is an honest and, and rational woman, but if we find that she wouldn't let you join for some, for some petty reason, I, I will resign. Promise. Promise. Okay. I, I didn't really sing off key, did I? <laughs> Way down, down by the riverside. Oh, very nice. <laughs> now, let's look at this next piece of music. Dick, you did such a nice job last time. Would you like to hand these out, too? <laughs> Shoot, I was just about to raise my hand. Sure, just try to take a job away from the teacher's pet. <laughs> I want you to know, I've been listening to you, and you have a beautiful E-flat. Really? Mm, very full body. Very full body. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> Looks like someone... I am not the teacher's pet. All right, now, let's all stand up correctly. Harley, straighten that back. Officer Shufflet. Chest out. Dick. Perfect. <laughs> Everyone look at Dick. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were finished. Oh, my. Nine o'clock already. Well, that's all for tonight. Nice finial consonants, everyone. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Bernie Howe? Could I speak to you for a second? Why, of course. Uh, I was thinking the other night, and I realized that I owe you an apology. I passed you in the store and was so preoccupied that I didn't speak. Oh, honey, don't worry about it. These things happen all the time. So you weren't bothered by that? Heavens, no. Oh. And I'm sorry I never sent your son a birthday card. Well, I did think that was a little rude. <laughs> You did? Yes, but then when I thought about it a minute, I realized he probably never sent you one either. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, Mrs. Fernie Howe, I'm curious as to why I didn't get into the Glee Club. Was it my singing? Oh, my, no. You have a lovely voice. Then what was it? Your height. I beg your pardon? <laughs> your height. We didn't have a match for you. You see, this whole choir was selected so that when lined up correctly, they form a perfect pyramid. <laughs> and you feel this is very important? Oh, my, yes. <laughs> the way food looks on a plate is 75% of how it tastes. My theory is the way a choir looks is 75% of how it sounds. So, you see, if I were to let you in, we'd sound lopsided. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have some organ stops to adjust. <clears throat> Honey, did you, did you straighten everything out? Oh, yes. I didn't get in because of my height. Apparently, I'd mess up the pyramid. How's that for a silly reason? Well, to, to tell the truth, uh, I mean, you know, we, we do look pretty sharp, you know, all, all, all lined up together. You're not going to quit, are you? Joanna, I, I, I just don't think you're, you know, you're thinking this through. And you truly don't think size is a petty reason for keeping me out? I, I really don't. If, if I did, I, I wouldn't be staying. Congratulations on your solo, Dick. Yeah, way to go. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Reading again? I like to read. Well, you two are all dressed up. Are you going to the Glee Club preview concert tonight? Of course. I mean, it is an event. It's a pathetic excuse for an event, but it does qualify. 
Steph and I try to attend anything in this town that you need tickets for. Unless it involves winning a ham. <laughs> you know, this is the first time in over a week you two haven't been planning your dream house. That's because we settled it. Really? Mm-hmm. We've decided to build two separate houses on the same hundred-acre grounds. <laughs> Divided only by a holly maze. Boxwood maze. Uh, but sugar lips, holly is much more colorful. But boxwood is the traditional maize foliage. Okay, boxwood. <laughs> right. See you, Joanna. Oh, don't pout. We can always put holly around the fountain. What fountain? <laughs> Hi. Hi. <clears throat> I, uh, I think it's real nice of you to, to attend the preview concert tonight. I'm going for George. My applause will be very selective. <clears throat> Look, uh, honey, if somebody besmirched your name or, or lied about you, I mean, I would refuse to, to associate with that person, but, I mean, not getting into a glee club is, is hardly a call to, to defend your honor or, or, or give up my solo. <laughs> so we're where we always were, poles apart. Oh, I'd, you know, I'd feel a lot better if, if you would... Wish me luck tonight. Dick, break a leg. Thanks. In fact, break both of them. <laughs> uh, George, would, would you uh, would you practice my, my solo with me? Sure, Dick. <clears throat> Down by the old mill stream. Mill stream. <laughs> where I first met. You met you. You're gonna knock their socks off, Dick. No, I'm, I'm pretty excited. You know, I've never had a solo before. Uh, technically, it's an echo, Dick. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing like a robe to make you feel like a choir member, huh? Nervous about your echo, Dick? <laughs> well, maybe, maybe a little. Well, I've sung dozens in my time, and I've got a little tip if you're interested. Sure. Never drink milk. <laughs> Gather round, everyone. Now, this is a preview concert designed so we can get used to singing in front of the public. Now, let's take our places. And remember, no talking, no gum chewing, and no milk. <laughs> Dick. You won't be singing tonight. You, you, you mean my solo is out? I mean you're out. Your match, Mrs. Eads, broke her hip. She's down for the season. Sorry. But, but I, I can go on without her. And mess up my pyramid? The audience is getting restless. But can't, can't you find anyone to, to take her place? The only person who would qualify would be Joanna. On a box. Now, I have the box. And, and, I, and I can get you in. Are you sure? Sure. I, I've been a, a good and faithful husband for 17 years. I mean, she, she does owe me something. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Lost? Uh, jo Joanna, um, how, how, how would you like to, to be in the, in the glee club? What are you talking about? Well, there's an opening, so, you know, I, I, I thought of you. you know, just come with me, your, your robe awaits. Not so fast. I heard about Mrs. Ede's hip. Oh. This is her granddaughter, Susie. Hi. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. She's doing fine. Good. <laughs> come on, Joanna, this, I mean, this solves all, all our problems. You get to sing, I, I get to sing. Not all our problems, Dick. You broke a promise to me. What, what promise? You promised to stand by her and resign the choir, and you didn't. No, 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 I, I, made, I made a conditional promise. I, I promised that if, if I thought that Mrs. Frenny Howe's reasons were silly, that, that I'd resign. But at, at the time, I, I didn't think that... Why am I telling you? I'm Susie's husband, Huck. You didn't think that being the wrong height was silly? Have, have you talked to these people? I needed to vent a little. Well, now, now I realize that Mrs. Fernie House height regulations were, were pretty uh, petty. 
But now that they affect you. People grow and, and learn. <laughs> oh, okay, Joanna, I, I was wrong. Let's, let's forgive and forget. Let's, let's, let's move forward. Let's, let's sing. <laughs> no. Dick, we can't wait much longer. Jo Joanne, I, I, I can't let you pass up this opportunity. Now, now you can be as wrong as I was, or, or you can, you can rise above it. I'll be as wrong as you were. <laughs> Joanna. Come on, Loudon. Leave her alone if she doesn't want to sing. <laughs> Look, could you stay out of this? I, I doubt if she told you everything. Yes, I did. <laughs> did did you, you tell him about, about the solo? Oh, I heard it was more of an echo. <laughs> Dick, my mind is made up. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just take off my robe and try to, try to find a seat. Probably, uh, probably somewhere in the back. I won't, I won't bother anybody with, with my, my sniffling. <laughs> Boy, you are a cold woman, Joanna. <laughs> but, but I, I guess, I guess I've been pretty insensitive too. I'm, I, I'm really sorry that, that I was so, so selfish. I'm. I'm, I'm garbage. What did he say? I'm garbage. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll sing. You pathetic to be into it. You, 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 you mean it? Yes. Wait a minute, we're not the same size. How can I be your match? Well, there's a, there's a little matter of a box. But, but honey, please, please don't back down now. All right. I'll sing on a box. You're the best. But, Dick, that solo of yours? Yeah. Now it's a duet. <laughs> <laughs> case why don't you uh, why don't you just have both rooms dick whose house is this <laughs> i refuse to have a pool room in my house unless there's a pool in it but steph michael how can this be a dream house if it has stuff in it i don't like that would make it a bad dream house <laughs> dick guess what was posted down at peterson's uh sale prices on flu and cold remedies Oh, those are always posted, Dick, so we can't accept that answer. <laughs> there was a notice that this town is going to form a glee club. Hot dog. <laughs> there hasn't been this much excitement since, well, since the last time we had a glee club. There was one before? You bet. We were in two county fairs before we disbanded in a rift over whether to sway during Swing Low Sweet Chariot. <laughs> But nothing like that will happen this time because the new leader is Hazel Fernie Howe. She was a den mother for years. She'll run a tight ship. But does she know anything about music, George? Oh, yeah. She was choir director at the biggest Lutheran church in Tyville. And you know... But, Steph, 
what what if I really, 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 really want it? Oh, Michael. No. <laughs> what's, what's going on? We're designing our dream house. We're, we're trying to decide what we would put in our house to, to end all houses. And, and Steph won't let me have a pool room. <laughs> I want a pool room. I want a cosmetics room. How those Lutherans can sing. She doesn't have perfect pitch, but she can recognize it. Dick, I think this sounds like a lot of fun. I do, too. You should try out. And you'll try out, too? No. <laughs> I'd think about it if I were you, Dick. There's nothing like gathering with your fellow townsmen to sing songs of inspiration. Well... I better go practice my three blind mice for the audition. Come on, honey, let's join. Honey, I don't want to join a glee club. But you love to sing. And we've been saying we want to do something